G'day, here's a larger parcel of uh, seam opal from Lightning Ridge, Australia. Rules in millimetres, materials being wetted. Um, some of this has been looked at, of course. As you can see, it's been sawn, been put back in. There's other pieces here that are, as they've come out of the tumbler. We'll go a bit closer. Okay, we've gone a bit closer. Rules in millimetres. I think I've already said that it's wetted. The white you can see on some of the material is the reflections, but there is also outside sandstone, clay, covering, and um, some of this is that hard that if we just kept tumbling it, it would wear the opal away, so it, we tend to stop, and then some of the pieces have still got uh, bits of clay, left on it anyway i'll just go around and show you what what it is the material varies from like that piece back there black potch and color you know, the bit black potch and color through to crystal pieces A piece like that you can see has been sawn but it's not much value some nice little bright pieces there, purples, greens. I'll just show you a few of the bits. It's a bit of a crystal type material. Some burgeoning on um, Nobby. Piece of uh, sun flash, crystal type material. See the purple blues in there. Material like this can just make a nice pendant of what you've got there rather than trying to cut it into a finished stone. It doesn't lend itself to that, but it would lend itself to being just a, a nice pattern piece of potch with, with indications of opal in it there. Large pieces like this that are to be ground down a little bit. See if you have got a colour bar there, for example. Looks like it from the picture. Might lend itself to being a carved piece. Generally, the smaller pieces are where you'll get the gemstones. The more I'll keep the big bits, unfortunately. Although we do have some like that, but um, they're priced at a different level. Bit of crystal sort of potch. Rub there. I think you've got an idea of what you're looking at. I hope you've enjoyed. Cheers.